Hello friends, welcome back to CAD Tricks. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of circular profile in which we are going to construct a hexagonal pattern. You can see the hexagonal pattern is being constructed all over the profile. Okay, so let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch and here we'll start with the top plane. So select the X red plane. Rotate. Now take the circle command. From the center point, make a circle here of diameter 110 mm. Now go to offset. Select the circle. Drag the cursor inside. Enter. And take here an offset of 5 mm. Okay. And escape. Double click this. And okay. So this will be the profile. Now finish sketch. And take extrude, select this inner profile. Here, take extrude of 60 mm, okay, and take it as a symmetric extrude. Now, press OK. Now, here we are going to make the hexagonal profile. Go to origin, and from here, we'll select the front plane, the XY plane. Go to create sketch. So, you can see from here also, front plane. Go to view. Visual style, change it to wireframe. Okay, go to sketch. From here, we are going to take the polygon. From the center point, make a polygon. Now, here go to horizontal constraint. Select this line so to make it a horizontal. Go to dimension. Define this outer to outer dimension as 10 mm. Okay. Now, go to line and make a center line over here. Make a center line and escape. Select this line, make it a construction geometry. Now go to rectangular pattern. Select this complete file of polygon. Okay. Now go to direction 1. Select this line and here we'll uh, go to account of 3 and take it a center to center distance at 12 mm. Okay. Now, I want this profile this side as well. Go to direction 2, select this line. Here, flip the direction. Take here a count of 3 and take here center to center distance as 12. Okay. Press OK. So, this will be the profile. Now, finish sketch. Take the extrude command. Select complete profile. Go to view. Visual style, change it to shaded edges. Here it is coming out. We want a cut profile over here. Okay. And take it as a cut of symmetric. And from here change it to all. So this will be a cut profile both the side. This side and this side. Okay. Now press OK. Go to front view. So this is a through cut. Go to home. Now I want a profile on the right side. So, this will be the right side. So, we are going to select the YZ plane. Go to create sketch. Now, change the view again to wireframe. Go to view, visual style, change it to wireframe. Now, go to sketch. From here, take the polygon command. This time, we will not start with the center point. We start below the center point. Okay. Escape. Now, go to the vertical constraint. Select this line. Now go to dimension. Define this outer dimension as 10 mm. Okay. Now the center to center distance here will be of 6. And here take the horizontal constraint. Select this point and select this point. Okay. Now go to line. Again make the center line. Select this top point and select the bottom. Okay and escape. Select this and make it a reference. Now here, go to the rectangular pattern. Select this complete file. Okay. And this time, go to direction 1. Select this line. And take here a count of 2 and take it as 12. Okay. Now go to direction 2. Select this line. And give a this center to center as 12 mm. 
flip the direction and this time this will be count of 3 okay so two polygon profiles this side and two this side now press ok now finish sketch go to 3d model take extrude select this complete profile take symmetric and from here take all and take here cut go to view visual style change it to shaded with edges so you can see the cut profile here we have a count of 5 and here we have 4 press ok now here as you can see go to front view this is a flat pad flat profile ok i want to give a curve profile over here so here go to 3d model take the 2d sketch and select the xy plane Go to view, visual style, change it to wireframe. Go to sketch, project geometry, project this inner profile. Okay. Now go to arc and make one arc here. Join both the ends and click here. Now go to dimension. This point. Okay, rotate. And the starting point of this arc will be at a distance of 2 mm go to front view so this will be the view ok now go to the vertical constraint select this point and select this point ok now escape now go to dimension define this radius here of diam uh, 170 mm ok and escape now here what else is left ok now go to project geometry project this outer profile escape as this arc is coming out go to coincident select this point and select this point now you can see this is fully constrained escape now go to line as we want to cut the outer profile this outer profile so we will extend this profile outside ok Extend it till here, here and join till here. Escape. Now this has become a close profile. Go to dimension. Define this dimension as 10. And here this also as 10. Okay. And this width here of 15. Okay. So I want to cut this outer profile. Now finish sketch. And go to revolve command. Select this profile, rotate and here go to axis and select the y axis. Go to view, visual style, change it to shaded with edges, front view. Now here as you can see this is making a new profile. So we will change it to cut. So this will cut the profile and provide this curvature. Press ok. Now you can see this is not flat anymore. Now go to home. Now I want to pattern this. So go to 3D model. Take a circular pattern. Select extrude 2, extrude 3. Go to rotation axis. Select this as rotation axis. And here take a count of 10. And the angle we will change to 180 degree. Ok. Now press ok. So it will construct the pattern. Go to front view. So this will be the pattern which we want. Okay. Now here you can see this is a hollow profile from inside. So I want to fill the material inside. So to fill the material, select the XY plane, go to create sketch. Here, go to view, visual style, change it to wireframe. Okay. Now here, go to sketch, select the uh, R command. Select this outermost point and here also select this outermost point. Ok. And make the arc. Now go to dimension. Define this arc radius of 300 mm and escape. Ok. Now this is not constrained properly anywhere. So when I drag this, you can see it is coming out. So drag this down, so this will be constrained. Select this outer profile, make it construction, okay. 
Now here only this R profile will be left. So we have taken a radius of 300. You can drag it down. Okay. Now after this, go to the line command. So we will join this. Select this. So this line here is of inner cut. Join it till this line. Okay. And here select this point and join it till this bottom and join this again now escape so this will be the profile okay now here go to 3d model take revolve so this profile has been selected go to view visual style change it to shaded with edges okay so this profile has been selected to fill the material inside now here for axis selection select the y axis okay so this will be a full revolve and press ok now you can see the inner profile has been covered and the outer profile is having the hexagonal pattern okay so you can see the hexagonal pattern all over around now i'll define the appearance so i'll give it a chrome polished okay so this will be the final touch so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a hexagonal pattern on a circular profile i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you